All right, there she blows. I searched high and low, near and far for a fiberglass runabout. I'm not really sure this is fiberglass, though it might be plastic. But I have a wood one and I have an aluminum one, and uh, I really wanted the fiberglass one. In addition to that, you know, I have two kids, so I only had two boats. I was short one boat. Um, pretty decent shape, lots of stress cracks all over the hull. Um, and the transom got tore up a bit. I mean, I don't know what was left of the transom when they decided to bolt the 75 horsepower on, but that really did it in. So that's coming off. I don't know if you can see in here, Mark 55's going on. Probably this one with the electric start. I got the cowl and the face plate out at the powder coater getting done in white. Cloud white. Should look pretty good on here. And uh, I'll evaluate this transom. Looks pretty bad. It's pretty thick too. It's like two and a half inches thick. I couldn't even clamp them off 55 on that. Looks like they reinforced this. Let some water sit in here. It all rotted out. And they got another plate in the bottom. Um, Morse controls, pretty clean interior. Um, the hull's got stress cracks. I don't know if you can see them, but all over. Um, so I think a, a layer of 7 ounce cloth is in order, at least one layer of 7 ounce cloth for the bottom, just for my peace of mind. I mean, I can't send my wife and kids out in this. Um, the trail is cool. It's probably cooler than the boat. I've never seen anything like it. I'm sure you guys have. Um, looks like all the way to the boat rests on the keel, and these rolls that go right down the middle. I don't know if you can see very good with the sun. Uh, dual coil springs on each side, shock absorbers. Um, I was impressed. Very impressed with the trailer for some reason. Anyway, there's the project. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, I'm about ready to fire up the, uh, the Johnson. See how that goes. That'll be going on my other boat, the 16-foot aluminum hull. Um, it's 226 pounds. I'm a little worried. I, I, I think that's about 100 pounds heavier than the Mark 55. I think my aluminum boat can handle it, though. We'll see. We'll see. Door set. There's the bow handles. See them there? El Dorado. Ride glide steering. I, I, I heard you guys talk about it, never knew what it was. Still don't know what it was, but I got it. Um, and like I said, it's a Dorset El Dorado. So I think I'm going to call this boat one of two things. It's going to be either Cool Whip or Dadalac. D A D I L L A C. Always wanted the Dadalac. All right, time to fire it up. I'll let you know. Um, and let me know what you think, too. You know, you, I value you guys' opinion. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just new to this. I'm trying to keep busy. Oh, yeah. Mechanical shift, too. <laughs> I was pretty happy about that. All right. Talk to you soon.